Hello, YouTube. I'm here with fellow TNC Ian Clark. So tell me all about tonight. What was that like performing a Kelly Clarkson song for Miss Kelly Clarkson? It was an insane. I mean, it was horrifying, honestly, especially the mentoring session. You know, going in, it's just a piano and you and the Kelly Clarkson across the other side from the piano. There are no mics, there's no sound system. You're just singing for it. And, uh, you know, that's a song that you really, she really wails on. And it was something that I was scared to do, but confident, you know, at the same time. And I just did my best. And luckily, she, she really, I think she really was digging it. I mean, you kind of said, she kind of said she was pregnant, so apparently she was really digging it. So you got to tell me, what does your fans think about all this experience? You know, my fans are great. They're very supportive, and I just constantly get, you know, love from them, and it, it means a lot. And what I think, um, unfortunately, it is impossible for me to see everyone's tweets and stuff, and it's it's sad because I remember, I'm because I'm a I'm a huge fan of a lot of people, and I'll tweet them. And I remember back before this, I would tweet them, and then they wouldn't reply or favorite, and I'd be like, man, I guess they're not cool. I guess they think they're better than everybody, blah, blah, blah. And I think, but now that I'm here, I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't see most. I mean, even if I if I was on my phone at all times, I'd still miss some. I mean, it's, and we're busy, you know what I'm saying? So, but the fans, I know they're, they're there, and they mean so much to me, and they really help in the process. Speaking of like your favorite people and stuff, what is it like being mentored by Scott? Oh yeah, Scott's great. Uh, being mentored by Scott is very beneficial. And I've told a lot of people this, he has a way of, you know, cause there's kind of that intimidating wall that comes with most, you know, social interactions with a big deal person. And he is a big deal person. Huge deal. He has a way of breaking through that wall immediately and you feel like you're just best friends. So he's a great guy, he really knows what he's doing and he only, he only uh, you know, takes the best and that's what he demands and it's really great to work with someone like that. Right, so if you had to have someone come mentor you, speaking of all your favorite people, who would it be? Oh gosh, that's such a difficult, uh, like that's so one. difficult question. Such a difficult question. Um, you know, I think John Mayer. Yes, I'm ready for this collaboration. Let's do it. I, I'm, I'm a fan. Yeah, you know, he's someone I really, be, more than any other artist, I want to kind of pattern my career after him. He's someone who is just as much of an instrumentalist as he's a vocalist, and he's a writer. And he, you know, what genre is, is John Mayer? Rock, R&B, soul, country, folk. He's John Mayer. That's a genre. That's kind of what I want to do. Good music is undeniable, and anything that he puts his hands on is great music, such a high quality of music that, that that's, that's someone I want to be, and I would love to just kind of pick his brain and, and musically just to kind of dissect his chords and what he thinks about and, and that kind of, that would be a dream come true. Okay, well, hey guys, maybe next week, because we know Clark is going to stick around. I mean, that's between us and a couple thousand people, but you know, he's going to stick around. So you guys should go vote for him, and we shall see you next week. Bye.